Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back into my YouTube channel and it's me again, Christian. And for today's video, we will be talking about the Concentrix full application process. Now, um, this is for the 2023. So, um, I know that maraming mga nagtatanong sa inyo, um, what's the application process? Is it the same for every site? Or it really depends on the site kasi there are a lot of Concentrix sites dito sa Pilipinas. We do have in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And then um, each site does have different accounts. May mga um, ibat ibang account kahit nga sa loob ng site. Merong ibat ibang um, anong tawag natin dito. May ibat ibang um, accounts. So um, what I'll be giving you is a general, and um, also will be explaining to you kung ano nga ba yung pagdadaanan ng mga applicants, especially pag ipro profile or re profile sila sa kanilang um, sa account kung saan saan na at kung ano yung account mo dati sa previous companies mo because that would also matter. And then ayun kung saan kay papasok. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video. So um, when you want to work or to apply in consent there are different uh, means or ways kung paano ka makapag-apply. So, there are options. You could um, go to the site, um, walk-ins. They do uh, um, accept applicants na mag walk in So, meron then um, online, um, virtual, and Facebook. So, um, usually, um, sa yung mga Zoom, mga ganun, it's actually the same process. Um, doon sa um, site, ang difference lang is, um, there would be equipments or devices that you need to provide when you undergo um, online compared kung doon ka sa site kasi they will provide them for you. So, ayun. So, let's go ahead and start. So, the first thing that you need to do is to register. So, um, let's go sa pinakamadali which is the Facebook. So, what you need to do is go to their Facebook page sa Concentrix and then um, message them. So, may mga automated um, replies doon ng mga um, automated nga AI um, Ayun, so mag-register ka. So, um, ayun. So, just click apply now. And then, you will have to choose which site you would prefer. Kung saan yung pinakamalapit. Um, if ever na ma maraming, um, because in Davao, there are actually two sites. In Davao City, kung saan andun ako. And then, malap magkalapit na kasing dalawa. So, you have to choose. So, you can choose either of the two. And then, right after that, pag na-choose mo na yon, so, ayun, registered ka na. What you need to do next is you are going to make a workday profile or application profile. So, it's just the same. So, ano nga ba yung mga gagawin mo doon sa pag-create or ano yung i-fill up mo? So, what you need to fill out is your full name, kung ano yung pangalan mo, yung buong pangalan mo, which... Um, is reflected doon sa, ang tagatin dito, doon sa government IDs or documents mo. So, make sure if you are married, um, make sure na kung ano yung nasa documents mo, ayun uh, yung ipafollow mo. Kasi may nangyari dati, nakasabayan ko, which nagka-problem siya later on sa application, sa hiring process niya, doon siya sa job offer. Kasi hindi magkatugma yung dala niyang pangalan doon sa documents niya. So, ayun. So, make sure na kung ano yung pangalan mo, full name mo sa registered um, government or national documents mo, is yun yung ipafollow mo. Okay? Right after that one is um, date of application. So, yun. Kung ano yung araw ng application date mo. And then, um, yung gender mo. So, male, female, um, hindi na may gender bias or wala, you can actually um, put kung ano yung gender preference mo if you wanted to be female, ganun, ganun. So, yeah. So, again, follow your national document. Um, your current address or your hometown, kung taga saan ka, hindi porket doon ka mag apply yun yung ilalagay mo address. Like, for me, I am not from Davao City, but I applied sa Davao City kasi doon yung pinakamalapit na concentric site. But I am actually from Ibislik City, Sir Gaudal, so which is a 5 hours, um, ang taga 5 hours travel time. Um, mula doon sa Davao, but that is my address. So, yun yung ilalagay ko doon sa... Um, application ko kasi dun mag kasi yun nga again uh, magmamato yung national documents mo yung registered na documents mo kung saan ka nakatira so ayun marital status if you're single married um, widowed ganun ganun 
um, nationality. If you're Filipino, um, I um, so in my case, I did see a lot of foreigners na apply Most of them are from the Middle East. Um, may mga Indian, may mga Americans na apply din doon sa site kung saan ako naka, nag-apply before. And then your contact information, um, your email address, and your phone number, um, cell phone number, or telephone number. So right after that one, that is um, making profile. Then, ang, uh, ang mangyayari after you created your profile, there would be a pre-screening. So may tatawag sa'yo. Um, and then, uh, pag-uusapan doon yung about doon sa information mo. It's actually, um, hindi siya initial interview. It's more of confirmation of your personal details if you're at home and you're applying online. Pero kung doon naman is, mag-verify agad yun. After you submitted the um, file, ipapatawag ka doon sa desk, sa front desk, then they would confirm if kung nalagay mo is tama. Okay? Because after that one, they would put it in their system. So, ayun, may tatawag sa'yo if you are applying online. Okay? Right after that one, um, ang mangyayari is you will receive um, an email. If you're on the site, tatawagin ka nila. So, it's just the same. So, um, if you're inside, tatawagin ka nila, pupuntahin ka nila sa isang room or kung um, if you're applying virtually or online, you will receive an email and they, they will give you a link. Ano nga ba ang gagawin mo doon sa link or doon sa room? Now it is the time for your communication skills assessment or yung tawag nila na SVAR or SVAR, a Concentrix SVAR assessment test. This is communication skills and um, ayun. So I do have a video for my SVAR test. I will be linking it down below para makita nyo yung um, video kung ano nga ba yung mga mangyayari para sa more elaborated. May mga example questions doon, may mga tips and techniques. So, please do check that out dito sa ating description box down below. So, ayun sa so may SVAR test na assessment sa communication speaking skills. So, this includes grammar, vocabulary, ganyan sa mga set of activities. And it's section 8 to F. So, section A in different category B, C, D, and F. So, again, please do check that video down below sa description box kasi meron tayo doon um, exam, uh, meron tayong video doon about the SVAR test. So, right after doon sa SVAR test, after mong mapas yun. So, you need to pass that one. Ang mangyayari is you will go on now to the modal test or this is the typing um, uh, computer skills assessment, modal test. So, sa modal test, this is, di ba kanina nag, nag, nag speaking skills tayo, ngayon naman is typing test. So, um, your um, computer literacy skills, um, how fast you will be typing. And also, I do have another video for that one, the modal test, which I just uploaded then the same day today. So, ayun, may modal test tayo. I will be also linking it down below para makita nyo yung modal test na video natin. Um, ayun, so uh, typing test, so magdi-data entry kayo, maglilisten kayo sa audio, then you will be typing. So ayun, so may mga tips and more in elaborated an explanation kung ano nga ba yung modal test doon sa video na yun. So, so mangyayari dito is magta-type kayo ng mga articles na marinig nyo, statements. So, ayun. So, after that one, um, ang mangyayari is you will now undergo for your account-specific assessment or your initial interview. Dito sa initial interview na to or account-specific is uh, there will be asking you a few questions regarding your previous work experience, mga ganun, personal information. So, ayun, so, because I am from the Billing and Sales Department, hahanapan ka nila ng um, appropriate na account para sa'yo. So, dito na sa initial interview, medyo heavy-heavy na yung um, process dito. So, what I did sa initial interview is, ayun, nag-ask sila about my perfect experience, my strength, weaknesses, um, call handlings ko dati, and then, um, ayun, kung ano yung mga natutunan ko. And right after that one, um, they will be explaining to you or they will be giving you the account that you will be having in case that you will proceed and pass the hiring application. So I'm from the Billing and Sales Department and they actually did um, put me into technical um um, ang tagay natin, technical account. So, ang binigay niya sa akin is technical account, which is very different. But, um, same din siya, customer, customer service um, assessment. Um, mayroon naman akong, um, 
knowledge ng um, technical um ano tawag na technical technical <laughs> technical account and so ayun so mag-explain kayo so may mga may mga uh the feedbacks then they will be teaching you some of the basic steps and then right after that one you will have a map call activity so ayun so may spiel spiels mga ganun kung call handling ite test nila yon same din doon sa initial interview okay so right after doon um yeah so the initial interview is more of um activities more of questions so i think 70% questions 30% activity yun yung mangyayari sa um, initial interview which is very important hindi dahil initial interview lang siya is um, kailangan kare-kare lang so kailangan mo nang magpakita ng gilas dito kasi kailangan din lang ipakita ay eh, kailangan lang makita if you are um tawito bagay or kailang uh, if you are qualified to be hired sa kanila and if you're qualified for the account ibibigay nila so make sure na mag-prepare ka doon sa initial interview and then right after mo mapasa yung initial interview you will now go on to your final interview at dito sa final interview is more of explanation sa rules what would happen documents that you will be so practically dito sa final interview um, it's more of pasado ka na what they need to do is your commitment more of questions about your commitment work ethics and what you can offer and what will you do kung ano yung mga gagawin mo doon sa concentrix and how you be and how you will become a uh, an outstanding agent para sa kanila because they will want someone diba na talagang magwo-work so ayun so they will be asking you if um if it's okay for you to work on holidays weekends mga ganun ganun and then magta-talk na kayo about salary about your um your job description about your expected outcomes mga ganun ganun so they will be talking about that and then mag-aas din sila sa iyo what uh, what would you do if may mga ganito ganyan na mai-encounter ka doon sa customers mo doon sa everyday work mo ganun ganun so yun yung in- final interview and then right after that one as yes, you will now proceed if ever that you will hopefully you will proceed for your final interview you will now um have your job offer and pre-employment requirements so magpapasa ka na ng mga requirements mo doon sa concentrix um yung mga um pag-ibig mga ganun SSS mga ganun ganun tapos mga medical mga ganun ganun so lahat yun ipapasa mo and right after that one you will now proceed to your training So, ayan, sa training. So, I will be doing another video for that one for my training sa Concentrix. So, yun. So, um, those are the steps when you apply sa Concentrix. I'm hoping that this video would be helpful for you guys. So, hopefully, then, uh, once nyo lang i-take or um, i-process yung application nyo at ma-hire kayo katulad ko. So, I did, um, ayun. So, sinabi ko na lahat ng mga gagawin nyo. So, it's really up to you right now. So, if you do have some questions, please don't forget to leave them in the comment section. I will be happy to answer all of them. And, um, ano pa ba? Um, hopefully that this video is very helpful for you guys. So, if, so, if you're someone then na from Concentrix, at kung ano yung mga napagnaanan nyo, na, paano kayo napas, na, nakapasa, please do comment them down below para sa ating ding mga kaibigan at mga kakilala na gustong mag-apply dito sa Concentrix and gustong mag-work as a call center agent. Ayan, so please do comment them down below. And I'm hoping that this video is very helpful for all of you guys. Please don't forget to give this video a like. Um, please leave your comments Um, suggestions, recommendations dito sa ating comment section down below. Hit the notification button and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, we're 7,000 subscribers right now. So I'm very happy for that one. And again, um, good luck sa lahat ng gusto mag-apply as a call center agent. And hope to see you soon on my next vlog. Bye!